child who had a cap on one ear and was wearing a uniform that was too small for him. His duty was to respond to the buzzer and receive orders from anyone with a quarter. He might deliver a ton of coal in the afternoon after serving as a pack horse for an elderly woman out shopping in the morning. His childlike nature had become hard and flinty as a result of being ignored by butlers, ordered around by blonde stenographers, and teased by traveling salesmen. As part of his response to the call to duty, he entered the dressing room and took a discreet photo of the magazine beauty before she started applying the hair or spreading the enamel. He was still in the sure thing or secret lair when they were devising a novel way to amass large sums of money without getting up from their chairs. He had seen his husbands work together on a lie to calm down the young Katisha who was waiting in the flat as the scotch stood high in the gauge. He would need to do a little detective work to ultimately find Katisha in one of those places where they serve it in teacups before delivering this masterpiece of fiction. He would need to do he would overhear candid expressions in the homes of the wealthy and famous where he would deliver orchids, invitations, and perfumed regrets. These